Hey, my Aussie friends, it's Tony Robbins from uh, our family home here up in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Listen, I'm reaching out to you because if you're familiar with my work, you know that once a year I do something totally unique, different than any other program I do anywhere in the world. And that is I put together a very small group of people, less than 950 as opposed to five or 10,000. And we take five days, five and a half days of total immersion and I take everything I normally do for my clients who I charge a million dollars a year to coach and work with, and we dig in deep. It's called Date with Destiny, and it's a program that I do literally once a year, and I've only done it in the U.S. Over a few years, I've done it in uh, Australia, down on the Gold Coast, but I'm coming back to do one in Australia in the Gold Coast this August, so I want to put it out to you, so if you're familiar with my work, this is where I go deep. This is where I work with people one-on-one -on -one in these small groups where we figure out what it is that you really want for your life today. What's been stopping you? What's the stuff that holds you back that, you know, you know you want to achieve certain things and you go for it, but get pulled back or you achieve what you want and you're not really fulfilled and you want to make that change. It's the program that I'm most excited about in my life, the thing I enjoy the most, and it's the thing I'm most well known for outside, obviously, dealing with my core coaching clients. If you're familiar with my work, you know, for the last 34 years, I've been just obsessed with wanting to know what makes the difference in the quality of people's lives. Why is it so many people have big dreams, but such a small number of people ever make those dreams a reality? And for those that do make it a reality, what is it that gets them not only to follow through, but then to enjoy what they have? I don't know if you've ever had the experience of achieving something that you've always wanted, and then afterwards thinking to yourself, is this all there is? It's one of the worst feelings the worst. It's almost worse than, than failing, because when you fail, at least you know, hey, I can still find a way to make it happen. But when you succeed and you're not happy, you're not fulfilled, then you got a real problem. So Date with Destiny is about digging inside and figuring out what are the things that control every thought, every feeling and emotion of your life. If you ever wanted to make a change, you wanted to lose weight, you wanted to transform your relationship, you wanted to make a shift financially in your life, and you find yourself making progress but pulling back, or never really even getting started, just being excited about it for a while, talking about it but not really following through, then there's something there, something that affects the way you follow through, something that affects the quality of your life. And I'm here to tell you there's two things that control everything in your life. Every thought, every feeling, every emotion, every action you have in your life. What you're wearing today, whether you're going to turn this off within a few minutes or whether you're going to stick with me here for two or three minutes, is all controlled by two things, your beliefs and your values. Whatever you believe, if you think life is just a waste of time, doesn't matter what you do, or you know, you're big boned, then obviously you're not gonna go for it, you're not gonna try to lose weight, you're not gonna go push for that next level of your career or your finances or, or your relationship or anything else. Beliefs control us, but so do our values. Some people you know, value just kicking back, some people value making it happen. Some people value their family the most, some people value love. But you know what the real challenge is? We have values in conflict. When you really want to make a difference in the world, or you really want to do well for your family, or you really want to do well financially, but simultaneously, you know, you don't want to upset anybody. You want to be totally honest, and you want to make everybody happy. When we have conflicts between what we want and what we think we can have, or, you know, you have a goal of what you really want to make happen, but then you have this other belief inside that says, this damn stuff never does work. Those inner conflicts are what keep people from using all of their energy. It's kind of like taking two steps forward and three steps back. Date with Destiny will allow you to discover for the first time exactly what's controlling all the aspects of your life, the beliefs, values, and rules that shape everything. And that's why if you've ever talked to anybody who's ever gone to Date with Destiny over the last two and a half decades of my doing it, they'll tell you it was absolutely changed every aspect of their life. And uh, I don't care if it's, you know, some of my celebrity clientele. I mean, some of you know I've worked and done this, some of this work all the way back to the days when I started out uh, with people like Princess Diana to the Dalai Lama. You know, from my early days when I came to Australia and had the opportunity to work with turnarounds with like the Sydney Swans way back a decade and a half ago when they're having such tough troubles. Or, uh, you know, taking a look at some of the stuff, you know, working with people like Hugh Jackman today or, uh, you know, NBA basketball 2011 champions, the coach of the team of the Dallas Mavericks, and showing how today we're turning things around. The results I get are because I can help people figure out the answer to a question. Why do I do the things I do, and how do I change it now? Have you ever asked that question? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this again? Or better yet, why do they keep doing this to me? If you want to understand why, and more importantly, how to change, that's what Date with Destiny is. And maybe even more importantly, what do I want for my life today? 
because at different stages of our life, we want different things. And you don't want to be running an old script. You know, it used to be people kind of ran on kind of seven year cycles. It's kind of an arbitrary number, but think about it. From 17 to 24 is kind of a stage of life for a lot of people. From 24, really, to about 31, that's another stage of life. 32 to 39 or 40 years old, another stage. 40 to 47, another stage. And those are random numbers. But what I mean is people tend to have an idea of what they think life's about. It's my kids. It's building my business. It's making money. It's God. It's family. It's whatever it is. And then they go for it for a period of time, three, four, five, six, seven years, whatever, maybe 10. But then there's a time in which people begin to question. They begin to look at their life and they begin to say, is this really what I want? Have you found yourself with that at any time? And then they do one of two things. They either recommit and they go for another seven years and they take it to another level, or they make a strategic decision that shifts the direction of their life. Either way, your decisions control your destiny. And if you don't choose, that's a choice as well. Some people just kind of stay in the middle in that lukewarm place, not sure what, not sure what they really want. So this is kind of off the cuff. What I'm really trying to say to you is, maybe the question to ask is, where do I want my life to be today? And where am I really going? What is my destiny? What's going to fill me up? What's going to give me the meaning for my life? That's going to give me joy in my life, not just achievement, but real enjoyment, a sense of meaning and aliveness. If those are questions that, you know, are things you want the answer to now, you know, whether you're at a certain stage of life and it's changing or you've had a birthday with a zero on it or you've made a lot of money, you lost a lot of money, you've gone through a divorce or you're just one of those hungry people that won't settle for less than you can possibly be or share or give. If you're one of those hungry people, if you're somebody who wants to step up, then come spend five and a half days with me at Date with Destiny. It's the only time you'll be have a chance to do this in Australia and it comes up in this August. It's an experience that's indescribable, but I thought I'd give you a shot before I jumped on the plane. So those of you that are hungry will respond. Others are going to say, what is this crazy guy talking about? You know, I, I remember years ago, one of my teachers, Jim Rohn, used to say to me, he said, Tony, life goes by so fast. He said, you know what, it'll be like that, and it'll be 10 years, it'll be five years. And I found in my life it's been true. You know, you look back on what you think a long time is, it changes real quick. And the best way to have the future you want is to design it now. You know, I tell people very often, you know, five years from now, you're going to arrive someplace. The question is where? And you're going to become somebody. And the question is, who? Who are you going to be? What are you going to be about? This program is about transforming you, and it's about transforming every relationship of your life. Your intimate ones, your ones with your friends, your family, your coworkers, and most importantly, yourself. If you're one of those hungry souls, contact us right away. I hope I get a chance to see you, and if not, I hope these questions are things that you'll sit down and maybe take some time to answer. What do you want today for your life? What's going to fulfill you? What's going to drive you? Where do you want to be five years from now? And what do you need to shift in yourself to make it happen? I'll look forward to seeing some of you soon at Date With Destiny, and others, hopefully our paths will cross sometime soon. Live strong, live with passion, and God bless.